just don't know what we're going to do with you, young lady. Daddy, I'm sorry. I just forgot. As a result of your careless behavior. Careless and reckless behavior. The entire celebration was... Uh, well, it was ruined. That's all. Completely destroyed. This concert was to be the pinnacle of my distinguished career. No thanks to you, I am the laughing stock of the entire kingdom. But it wasn't her fault. Uh, well, first, uh, the shark chases. Yeah, yeah, and we tried it, but we couldn't. And she didn't. Uh, and, and we, whoa! Oh, and then we were safe. Then a seagull came, and it was this is this, and that is that. And... Seagull? Huh? What? Oh, you went up to the surface again, didn't you? Didn't you? Nothing happened. Oh, Ariel, how many times must we go through this? You could have been seen by one of those barbarians, by, by one of those humans. Daddy, they're not barbarians. They are dangerous. Do you think I want to see my youngest daughter snared by some fish eater's hook? I'm 16 years old. I'm not a child. Don't you take that tone of voice with me, young lady. Well, as long as you live under my ocean, you'll obey my rule. But if you would just listen. Not another word. And I am never, never to hear of you going to the surface again. Is that clear? <sighs> Teenagers, <laughs> they think they know everything. You give them an inch, they swim all over you. Do you uh, think I, I was too hard on her? Definitely not. Why, if Ariel was my daughter, I'd show her who was boss. None of this flicking to the surface and all of such nonsense. No, sir, I keep her under tight control. You're absolutely right, Sebastian. Of course. The Ariel needs constant supervision. Constant. Someone to watch over her. To keep her out of trouble. All the time. You are just the crap to do it. Uh-oh.